Hello, everyone, and welcome to this new Analyst Angle. I'm very pleased today to be joined by Greg Lally, who is the SVP General Manager of IT Nation. Greg, welcome to this Analyst Angle. Thank you, Christophe, for having me. Pleasure to be here. Well, uh, Greg, you uh, are the SVP uh, and General Manager of IT Nation. Could you tell us what IT Nation is and uh, maybe connect the dots with ConnectWise, which is really the parent company? Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, so nice to meet everybody. Uh, again, SVP and GM of IT Nation. I've got about 14 plus years, be 15 in February of uh, kind of experience under my belt here uh, under the ConnectWise uh, umbrella. And uh, as of uh, April this year, I took over the helm of the kind of reimagined um, IT Nation business unit. So really kind of the aggregation of our community, our global community, uh, industry, uh, peers, thought leadership, everything that goes along with uh, all of the IT Nation properties under one business unit. So really excited to, uh, to have that opportunity uh, to be able to do that. Obviously, again, I've, I've had a career in sales and kind of changed that hat and traded that in. Uh, in April. So been busy focusing on uh, kind of strategy creation, where we go from here, uh, where we've been. Obviously, it's been a, a tremendous run and a tremendous build um, over the last 20 years uh, of the IT Nation. It's been a work in progress and certainly looking to uh, to take it to the next level. So that's where we're at today. Well, thank you, Greg. So let's double click on this. I mean, you said a couple of things that get my, my attention. Obviously, you have a number of participants and partners uh, that you work with leveraging your platform or in various components of your solution. But let's talk about the uh, participants. I think that's really uh, very interesting. Uh, who are they? Uh, where do they come from? What industries do they serve? And, and, and the type of uh, general business that they serve? And, uh, you know, when you think about them, what has changed for them in the past uh, couple of years? Yeah, well, let's just say the IT Nation, again, is representative. When I when we talk about it now as a broad community, we're talking about not just TSPs, not just MSPs, as we've we've addressed in the past. Certainly, that's the backbone, those managed service providers. Uh, but we have to talk about the ecosystem in its entirety. And that's the reimagination of the, the, the new IT Nation and the brand is to make sure it's all-encompassing and represents the industry that only in a way that the IT Nation can. So um, we talk about ISVs, we talk about uh, media, we talk about distrib distribution. All these models and engagement models are changing uh, and have been over the past couple of years and continue to do so. So it's really important as we see ourselves as the IT nation, as the, the community of communities, if you will, that aggregator to bring everyone together under one kind of umbrella to be able to then elevate the entire TSP community by aligning. So I think that uh, what people have seen recently, again, we've gone from one emerging technology, I'm sure we'll kind of unpack this a little bit, but from, I say emerging, meaning advanced security, MSPs looking to become MSSPs or advanced security providers, really kind of getting that motion down in 2017, 18, 19, into 20, into the, into the, to the, uh, the COVID era, and then ultimately, again, right on the heels over the last 18, 24 months now of, of, of trying to become and get their arms around AI. So everybody's talking about AI. Everybody's still talking about, you know, what next gen looks like. Uh, but we really have to, you know, again, we'll concentrate a lot on the fundamentals when we come to IT Nation as well. So we can go into the program a little bit, what that looks like. But uh, yeah, there's a, there's a wide range of topics for MSPs and TSPs and the ecosystem to be, uh, let's just say, um, aware of, not necessarily concerned about, but aware of. You know, absolutely. I think it's a great venue for education, but also uh, for business. Obviously, you have to be able to generate business as a service provider or security service provider, and, and therefore understanding the trends, understanding what's available and what best practices are is going to be key. So let's double click uh, double click on a couple of things. I Obviously, you talked about AI. Hey, we went three minutes without saying AI. That's not bad. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's talk about AI, and let's talk about um, cyber resilience in general terms, uh, backup recovery, and, and let's unpack some of this. So uh, more broadly with AI, obviously AI is both an end and a means, right? Uh, so let's talk about how you uh, promote the use of AI in your solution and what you recommend and what you're doing specifically to help uh, your uh, service partners uh, really be better at what they do. Yeah, look, I mean, AI is one facet. I'm just gonna take one step up real quick. When you talk about IT Nation and what's going on here in November uh, this week, it's all about 
um, really five tracks we have. Cyber and AI is one pillar of the five of the content strategies that we've identified. We've identified growth and strategy. So the next level MSP is going to have to think differently and, and create a strategy that's different than it is today. The next generation MSP is going to have to um, obviously deliver services and operations excellent in an excellent manner. They're going to have to um, be creative in their sales and marketing efforts. Uh, we've got a lot of content around that and leadership and management. So there's different ways to lead, as we know, as far as how the population is now spread out geographically, uh, whether it's back to office or not back to office, we're gonna have a work from home culture in some facet. And the fifth pillar is, is cyber and, and AI. So that resiliency from a cybersecurity perspective, as well as AI. Look, there, we're in the infancy. I think we all agree that the people or folks are struggling or looking to make that use case for these for these. Uh, and, you know, language models that then actually go into some sort of data lake for usable AI, other than reporting, other than capturing notes and things it's doing today. We are now into how do we leverage these tools to make humans more effective? So that's what we have to look at right now is a lot of, sometimes people have that, you know, it's going to replace humans. We're going to have robots next week and everyone's going to be out of a job. Right now, where we're at at the stage of the game is completely about getting data ready, getting your partners ready, and getting yourself ready for what is about to become. So I think we're all in the, in the in initial stages right now of, of where we're going to be. Uh, right, and, and it's a topic we've covered in general terms and, and specific terms so like agentic AI, for example, which has a ton of promise, but uh, you're right, there's always this potential risk. Oh, is it going to take my job away? As a matter of fact, I think, uh, especially with a, a great platform like yours, it will provide a lot of additional capabilities for the service providers to better serve the end user. So I have, I take a very positive view of AI, but I get your, your point. Uh, it's about education and it's about really making sure people understand what they're dealing with. Uh, obviously, cyber uh, security, cyber resilience, the hot topic. I imagine it's uh, uh, a big uh, topic for the service providers every day. They get calls from the end users. There's always a new threat. There's always a new ransomware attack. Uh, there's always a risk. Uh, so actually, risk is part of life. Uh, I think that's really what it comes down to. Uh, are there any uh, recommendation or is there anything that you, uh, you do specifically when you think about IT Nation around this topic? You said it's one of the tracks, but are there some workshops? Are there some best practices? Do you get people to share a little bit about what they've been able to, to go through and, and, uh, and deal with? Because I think it's a hot topic that is not going to go away anytime soon. No, it won't go away anytime soon. And the answer, of course, is is yes. I think we have a, an event in June called um, IT Nation Secure, which is completely wrapped around security. So it's a focus, a security focused um, experience that we have in June. And so there's a subset of microcosm what goes on, you know, at that event we bring to the big tent. So you're going to see, you know, hackathons. You're going to see shared stories, as you talked about. You're going to see new technologies in the solutions pavilion. And some of those individual providers, the solution providers, meaning the vendors, actually bringing uh, new and emerging, uh, you know, technology to the floor. So we've got a couple, um, uh, you know, announcements that will be coming out from our vendors. I don't know them, to be honest with you. They've just told me that they want to do PR and they want to do release around the event, which is always exciting. But we do have a high focus on execution, uh, on risk management, on being prepared. Uh, we always say it's not you know when, but but if. So I think everybody's gotten past that initial stage of security years ago when some someone would have a, a problem or a challenge and people would point the finger and go, ah, oh, look at them. That's what they that's what they've gone through, right? You you don't have to look very far to any of the managed providers to know that either they themselves have experienced or they know somebody who has. So um, you know it's it's near and dear to everybody. Everybody lives through it. So it's all about the preparation. It's all about as you said, and truthfully, the the risk management. It's there, and you have to figure out how to deal with the risk. So there's uh, there's sessions on compliance. There's sessions on setting up the practice uh, and monetizing how to sell better. So it's all facets. Is the understanding of uh, the frameworks themselves. Um, with the preparation that needs to be done internally, the tool sets that need to then go supply and support the strategy. And, and obviously, you know, MSPs have to monetize it and figure out what pricing and packaging and how to address it with their customers as a long-term strategy. It's not a product, right? Security is not a product. It's that journey that you have to keep them on continuously. Right, and, and that's why I personally use the term cyber resilience. I think that's a, a bit of a new category, but it really combines traditional cybersecurity from yeah a few day, uh, a, few, a few years ago. And uh, but but then things have changed. Uh, I know you guys have invested heavily in MDR, EDR, etc. And uh, there's a 
a lot of, of detection and response that's important as well. But, you know, there's also backup and recovery. It's uh, really uh, leveraging the, the NIST framework and having all those components. So you mentioned ISVs, and uh, I know you have a number of partnerships. Uh, tell us more about the strategy here. What is it uh, you're looking for in terms of the ISVs you work with? Um, and how do uh, your partners, the MSPs, uh, really leverage uh, those relationships? Yeah, I think one of the unique things that the IT Nation started a few years ago was a program called Pitch In. Uh, and if you're if you're not familiar with it, it's really to help sponsor and support. It's a year-long initiative where we have champions within the channel that actually help coach and, and help ISVs that are merging into the TSP MSP space to um, formulate their business plan, formulate their their um, their pitch. Um, and even curate, um, you know, how the test market, how it should go into the actual channel. So there's a lot of mechanisms we have over the course of the year. We started with about 30 odd or so um, ISVs. And at IT Nation, we crown a pitch it winner. So there's three finalists that we have that will be one, one winner will receive 70,000. That's first place uh, US dollars. The second will be 30,000. And that's how we carve it up for place one, two, and three. So we're a big supporter of not only the ISVs who have quote unquote made it, who have established names, brand, et cetera, uh, in amongst our, our, our peers, but those looking to enter, uh, we're a big backer of, of helping them get, get launched in the channel as well. So that's very unique, but at, at, actually it's a nation of over 160 um, ISVs and solution providers on in the pavilion, again, um, you know, showing their, their, their best outcomes of what, what their solutions present and it hopes to, uh, to help connect with our TSPs and, and really help them shape their business. I think that's fascinating because the, the reality is it's an ecosystem. I mean, if we just take the topic of cyber resilience, for example, it's, uh, you're right, there's no pointing the finger. It's about teamwork and that's the most difficult thing. And the MSP in many, or MSSP in many cases, is the team <laughs> for the end user. They have to figure out the, the moving parts and the various components and recommend the best solutions, uh, including uh, ISV type of uh, uh, technologies in the mix. Uh, so I think uh, what you're doing is, is uh, not only very important, I think it's also a very important uh, business uh, opportunity uh, for the MSP. So could we double click on the business piece. You mentioned multiple times training sessions, how to make money, how to uh, really build a practice. Uh, so I, I know there are multiple tracks around that. Uh, what's the takeaway if I'm a, an MSP and I'm gonna go, what should I expect? What's, what am I gonna bring home with me from a business standpoint? Yeah, that's, it's, it's a great question. And if you look at the IT nation historically, what we've been known for, what we've been given tremendous credit for is, is the education, uh, inspiration, and the accountability. It's such a tough word um, because there's there's so many uh, you know, events out there and conferences that people go to. And we, we have a, a term we use here in the hallway called inspiration cliff, where people go to these, these experiences and they get excited, they learn a few things, and then they go back to their office and they're kind of back to the to the to the ordinary again, and they get sidetracked, and they don't implement or integrate any of the ideas, or not enough of them, uh, to make an impact. So we're really, really drilling down to that accountability metric, where we're going to come with the education. We're pulling communities together. So this is the first industry uh, event that I know of where we've got 13 separate communities that are very active in the MSP space. They're all coming. Their leadership is coming to help present. So that we're bringing the, the different groups together in one setting so that we can all engage. Again, the whole hope is if we all come together, that we have a saying, wise together, rise together. That if everybody, regardless if it's competition, if it's friendly co-opetition, we call it, you've seen that probably, but we it's going to take all of us to master all of the complex challenges of the world. But the accountability cannot be understated when you talk about what people can walk away with business plans. We have working, we have workshops. Um, Josh Constein, who's coming from, um, I don't know if you, you know, we submitted as one of the uh, speakers and we've done some, some public facing, uh, I did a LinkedIn live session with him. He was a uh, tech crunch editor for, for, um, eight years, over 4,000 blogs. He wrote on technology, super well connected, coming to talk about sales and marketing and language models, large language models that you can employ today that you can go back to your office on Monday and you can start creating your own content formulating it and being a better sales and market individual as a technologist. And then on, on Friday, we have an actual workshop. Again, people are going to walk out with plans. People that go to this session walk out with physical assets, 
Brad comes to talk about the education and the training, but it allow you to be accountable as you go back to your office. And there's a human element to it as well, where we're tying some, some Sherpas, some people that have been in the industry for a while, uh, as kind of leaders to help people along the way over the course of the year. Well, Greg, we've covered a lot of ground. I think it's really amazing that you're doing all of this. Uh, very impressive about the communities. Uh, I, I believe that uh, this uh, is just one of many conversations we'll be having. Uh, I look forward uh, to hearing more about IT Nation. Uh, as a reminder for uh, our viewers, IT Nation uh, takes place early November, and of course, I'm sure there'll be lots of content available throughout the year uh, from the event. So, Greg, thank you so much for your time. And to our viewers, thank you uh, for watching us. So we'll see you on the next one. My name is Christoph Bertrand. I'm a principal analyst here at the Cube Research. See you next time.